What's up YouTube, the Basement Mahler here. Um, we're going to go ahead and uh, do the second part of this uh, Steino Res review. And it's going to be the uh, big test as far as how well does it stand up to uh, stand up to stick, uh, to sanding. So I got a couple things uh, here. So right in here is a section where I uh, smeared it um, as you guys saw in part one. So I let it dry up. It does have a rough surface on it. Again, we're going to see if we can sand it down. The other thing I've done is I've scribed some panel lines here. All right, so you know one of them is you know very thin. The other two are a little bit thicker. And the purpose of this test is going to be if it sands well here, can it be used to uh, you know fill in certain panel lines, which is typically or typical of what you would do with uh, Mr. Surfacer here. So if uh, if it indeed does sand well, then I would assume it can also be used to fill in panel lines. So what I have here is I have these uh, flexi file sanders and we're going to give it a try. So let's start with this uh, portion right here. Just let me line it up so you guys can see it. So it's right here and I'm going to start with the lower grit and see what happens. So I'm just slightly sanding on there. Now it's not uh, react. It's not acting like some of the uh, acrylic primers act, and you can see it doesn't really uh, gum up the sanding file. So it's actually sanding quite well. So let's see if we can uh, go ahead and smooth it out, which it is. There's a, a little raised section still right here. Let's see if we can get to it. So we want to take a look at not only how well does it sand on the styrene, but also how does it act on the actual file itself. So. Um, it, it actually sands extremely well. So you can see there, um, it looks like it's gummed up, but it's actually just pure powder. Look at that. And this here, it's all powder. So you know what, guys? Uh, this thing sands very well. And I want to try and sand it. I mean, I'm using a tougher grit here, but let me switch to a finer grit again. You know, there's there's nothing really gumming up. Nothing that. Uh, I mean, it does stick a little bit more than what the styr than the you know styrene dust would, but overall it's not not bad at all. So I'm gonna switch over to the finer grit, and again. It's uh, it's sanding quite well. Let me go even finer, and seems to be uh, wow! Look at that. Again, doesn't stick that much on here. Um, And I'm just going to sand around the surface just to smooth everything out. And there you go. Check that out. Um, you know what? <laughs> this stuff works great. I was able to sand everything down. There was no peeling. It feels pretty smooth. Again, it was just a uh, thin layer of primer. But you're able to sand it. Check that out. You know what? I <laughs> I did not think it was going to be able to do that, but it has. So, wow. Nice and smooth. That is awesome. That is extremely, extremely good. Um, so, let's uh, try and fill some of these panel lines. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, you know, 
fill in the six panel lines then I'm going to give it some uh, some time for it to dry out um, if I'm going to put a pretty th thick uh, bead along the panel line I don't know if I'll be able to uh, sand it today it may take a couple of uh, hours I would actually probably even feel better waiting until the following day which is fine because I would typically do that with the uh, Mr. Surfacer you know this is a 1200 but I have the 500 as well as the uh, liquid Tamiya surface primer I would do the same thing where I would go ahead and put it in there to try and uh, fill in the the uh, panel line and wait until the following day to go ahead and uh, start sanding it so let me uh, fill it in and I'll let you guys take a look okay so I went ahead and uh, put some primer in this cup here and I'm gonna go ahead and use a toothpick and uh, fill in some of these pan panel lines So, again, I am continually impressed with what I've seen with this product so far. You can see I'm just filling in this in and uh, seems to be working. Uh, so there we go. Let me finish this up and then uh, we'll go ahead and do a recap of parts. Okay, so I've uh, gone ahead and uh, used a primer to fill in six of these, all six of these panel lines. Um, I'm not sure how long it's going to take to dry because I did uh, put a very thick bead on there. But um, again, if you take a look at this and you guys saw for yourself, and what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go ahead and take a pencil. Uh, let's see if you guys can see it, so I'm just going to you know, see that, and you guys, i um, assuming you guys can see what, just the scribble, hold on, just the scribble I just did, right here, alright, I get in there pretty deep, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and, so you guys can see that, I'm going to take some, uh, 1000 grit sandpaper. I'm just gonna see if I can sand it off right here on camera. So you guys can take a look for yourselves again, right? And just, you know, how well this stuff does sand out. Now, the one thing that I am noticing is the, the sanding dust does seem to uh, stay stay together it's not like if there's a lot of dust so you can see it looks like it, it binds up to one another but the actual sanding process is actually going pretty good and I'm just doing a light sanding on it because I want to take out the pencil marks but I don't want to get down to the styrene so I'm just going in there so nice Smooth, light passes. Okay. There you go. I'm gonna just use a another clean piece of uh, sanding paper, and I'm just gonna get in there and you know it. It actually um, sands very similar to the. Uh, to me, an extra fine primer. But I'll tell you what, if uh, somebody wanted to use this to prime our car body, you might be able to get away with it. In fact, that might be one of the tests that I do later on because there we go so you'll see the uh, the uh, scratches you know very scratches but it, it, it did remove the pencil mark and I have not scratched it deep enough to get into the styrene so now if I was to you know take this here and try and get in there a little bit deeper 
I'm sure I'll get into it, but again, you know, this is probably about, and this is like 400 grit on this pan here. And again, it wants to come around and take a, uh, I got something over here. Here we go. And just try and smooth it out. It actually, you can see it's you know, almost starting to buff out a little bit. There we go. So it started, to, you know, we can see some of the styrene showing through. But again, you know, you take a look at the sandpaper. Um, you know, it doesn't leave like a real gummy residue I do see some of it but again you know with this type of sandpaper I've seen it with a lot of other stuff you know you know this is here enamel paint that I was saying in earlier and you can see it's on there too so it's it, it's not reacting anything different and uh, you know you can clearly see that it does sand well there is no peeling or gumming up so, again, I, I, I'm continuing to uh, be impressed with this Dino Red. So, I'm going to go ahead and uh, let this dry overnight. Um, I'll see how it looks tomorrow. And, uh, you know, we'll do a part three. Oh, in fact, oh, wait a second. Here's some, some of the parts here where you can already see I've started to dry. And the thing with this is it is leveling out, but it's still leaving what I can you know it, it's still the uh, you know still leaving a good impression on the panel line right here so you know what it's actually drying pretty quick but looks like it definitely uh, self self level is really good you can see it's starting to happen here here a little bit here you know here's already dried out but it's not filling in that panel line pretty you know that that well so but you know what again i'm gonna let this uh, dry for a couple hours and if i have anything to show you guys today i will if not um i'll be uh, posting a part three on this dino res review tomorrow all right youtube uh take care okay so i've been waiting about uh you know 10 minutes since i uh put the beads of primer in the panel lines and I'm, not, I'm trying to get as close so that you guys can see without losing focus. There we go. So you can see it, it's, you know, some was starting to dry, but it's not really doing a good job of filling in the panel line. And I would assume part of the problem is because it is self leveling, all right, um, it's going to take several applications to build it up so I'm gonna let this dry off I'm gonna sand it and then I'm gonna you know fill them with filler and resand it and I'll you know give you guys an update but um, works great it's just I'm not sure that it's gonna be a uh, you know decent uh, panel line filler I mean it's uh, it, it, you know what it does such a good job of self-leveling that it's just not going to be good at this, you know, for for doing this. So, there you have it. I'm going to do a final recap, and I'll be posting that up later. Take care, YouTube.